Brandita was kind of a typical street prostitute. Worked in the uh, San Fernando Valley. Wow. My name's Brandy. Hi, Brandy. I'm Dennis. She was the girl who was trying to find something better, but didn't know how to get there. Here was this guy, this Air Force guy, this golf course guy who had a nice house. This was Brandy's chance. He paid for her apartment. He bought her food. You're an expensive habit. He got her a car. When Joan inherited $70,000 and a fully paid for house, she made plans to divorce Dennis. So you expect to get all of your inheritance plus half of my assets? Half of our assets? Dennis desperately wanted to prevent his wife from divorcing him because it would have financially devastated him. It's not going to happen. Are you threatening me? Dennis decides to take matters into his own hands, and he needs some help. He needs Brandy. So he tells Brandy to come over late at night, and he lets her inside. Mrs. Dolly was asleep in the master bedroom. I don't think she suspected anything until she was startled awake in her bedroom to see Dennis wielding a golf club and this strange woman in her bedroom that she knew that something awful was going to happen. <laughs> Dennis basically doesn't know anything at all about it. He has no clue how this could possibly happen. You got this in the bag. I mean, this was his wife of 35 years. Who does that? Who goes on a Las Vegas holiday right after she's been brutally murdered? For the first time in years, Brandita was living the high life. She had it made. Brandy gets arrested. And when she gets arrested, the cops think about that old case involving Joan's murder. And they think also about the advances in DNA. Brandita's DNA ended up under the nails of Mrs. Dolly. He probably promised her she'd be the next Mrs. Dolly, and she wanted out of her situation. 